What is up, party people? What is up? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. We're talking all things DFW residential real estate today. We got lots to cover. Uh, we've got the one and only marketing specialist extraordinaire, Jeremy Payne, in studio. We've got the English Wonder, the Yanni Donnie. We got full price Courtney. And later in the show, we're going to speak to our buddy Eddie McBroom over at Elite Appliance about a crazy story of uh, what are we what are we calling that? Uh, not distribution, but uh, just craziness. Acquisition just of parts. I mean, it's going to blow craziness. your mind. Uh, acquisition of parts in Italy. I mean, it's international stuff going on now. Hey, folks, uh, there's a lot of questions about what is happening and what will happen in DFW real estate in 2024. We've been talking about it for weeks. We'll give you a little snippet of our 2024 Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team market forecast, uh, and we'll talk all about it. We've got Jeremy in studio to talk about what is happening on the ground right now. How are buyers acting? Uh, what's the scoop for sellers? We'll get into that as we make our way through the show. Of course, your questions are always welcome. 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. Zero 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 eight. Call or text. You can also go to ToddTremontiTeam.com just about anytime, anywhere. Yep. Before we get to that, though, the first segment is going to be brought to you by Patrick Gloros and his team at Cardinal Financial. If you're looking to get a mortgage, refinance, if you just want to have a chat about maybe getting an investment property, reach out to Patrick. Go to PatrickGloros.com. You can start your application right there on his website. You can call him at 972-728-3420. PatrickGlaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, PatrickGlaros.com, NMLS number 308804. And as always, you can go to ToddTremontiTeam.com, click the radio tab, and you can find all the recommended pros and vendors that we talk about right there. Nailed it. All right, so we got a lot to get into today. We're going to do that here in just a second, but stay with us the whole way. We're going to talk about what you need to know if you're a buyer, what you need to know if you're a seller, for the entirety of 2024, what lies ahead based on the insurmountable amount of data and opinion uh, makers the uh, relevant to the real estate market. There's a lot of information out there. We're going to boil it down to some very, very simple instructions, and then we'll be here for you if you want to get into some detailed conversations about your personal family financial decisions when it comes to buying, selling, or investing in real estate this year. You know what decided to show back up in 2024? What what decided to show back up? Multiple offers. Uh, that's the word on They're the street. Uh, you know, it may be we may we may go to the on the ground uh, expert here to find out if that's happening in in literally every situation. What people like to do with headlines, I don't know if you guys know this, they like to write a good headline to get everyone's attention, and often make over generalizations. Jeremy, how do you feel about that? Yeah, you know, I like uh, overgeneralizations in general. Yeah, absolutes, any sort of yep. misleading commentary. Yeah. So the reality is we are starting to see more and more headlines about multiple offers and all sorts of hype. It's interesting how schizophrenic the headlines can be, right? The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Real estate is dead. Wait, multiple offers. Look at this. People are fighting over houses again. What would you say in kind of summary, Jeremy, you're seeing as someone who represents sellers... We call that on our team a marketing specialist. You help them market and sell their homes, and you do that 40, 50 times a year. The normal agent does that one or two or three times and maybe helps two or three or four buyers. So you're working with, you know, let's just say 40 sellers and talking to hundreds of them. What is true right now for sellers? Yeah, um, thanks for having me on today. And You're welcome. I was, talk I was talking to Todd, but thanks, Ian. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a lot changing right now, and I'm, we're watching. Like I'm seeing it happen live. I've been tracking it really closely over the last, I'd say, about three to five weeks, right, right at Christmas or before, mm -hmm. um, and we're seeing traffic and demand that I haven't seen honestly in probably two years. Yeah. So we on our team we talk about late twenty two. Well, really early to mid 22, basically after spring 22 is when things really started to change significantly. So we're almost rolling up on two years since you saw, how would you describe what you're seeing? Optimism, activity, what what would you call that? Yeah, I would just see like sellers having a position of power. There, there's, there's optimism, buyers are um, realizing it is a good time to buy right now. You know, there, there's things have changed and we don't have 2.8% interest rates anymore, but there are some really, really good things happening. And all of a sudden 
sellers are having a little bit more control over the process. If they know what they're doing, if they know what's happening and buyers are actually showing up and saying, you know what? I want this house. Let's make it happen. Here's a fun little headline from Yahoo Finance from a few days ago already. You like this one. Bidding wars erupt as 2024 kicks off with some listings seeing over 30 offers. Some being the operative word, right? So I think- It doesn't actually mention in the article anywhere, any particular location. Or data of any kind. Yeah, so but that's not, it's not, it's not an entirely misleading statement. We are definitely seeing, and Jeremy just said it, more optimism than we've seen in quite a while, especially from the buy side. Buyers have felt just absolutely overwhelmed and defeated for a very long time. Even during the post-COVID run-up, when sellers were in what most people would call a heyday, you know, buyers were really frustrated, having to compete. And then as rates went up, of course, prices went up, uh, or the cost of ownership for them went up. So what we're seeing right now, uh, is, for me, is a benefit both ways. We're seeing a, a good time to buy, where buyers have some opportunities, and because of that, it's a good time to sell, because sellers have buyers that are actually willing to make some decisions uh, and pull a trigger. We are seeing multiple offers. Would you would you say that's happening everywhere, Jeremy, or would you specify that in any way? Yeah, for sure. So a lot of people, when they think multiple offers, they think back to COVID times where you know you could literally put a sign in the yard and sometimes get 20, 30 offers. That's not where we're at for the vast majority of the homes. We're seeing, you know, especially here in DFW, if you've got a you know generally desirable area, three, four, five hundred thousand dollar house, uh, it's in good shape like you're you're getting more traffic especially when we put our full marketing plan on there like we're going to be more likely to see anywhere from i would say probably you know one to ten offers right yeah. i've seen some more than that and i've seen times where they don't sell that fast but yeah. uh in general at that price point you're seeing more at higher price points or slightly less desirable you know features or whatever it may be we're not in a guaranteed overnight sale yeah. type like we were a few years ago. According to Redfin, mortgage applications, mortgage purchase applications were up 3% compared to last month. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there were 9%, this is globally, no, nationally, but there were 9% more new listings on the market uh, this year than there were this time last year. Like right. that's positive. Yeah, it's it's, you know, it's easy to say we were right, but but this is about what we said. We are not expecting some just massive barnstorming of inventory, and that number may pick up as we get into the mm -hmm. traditional spring summer season. But we are expecting sellers to kind of climb down off the fence of indecision and put some houses on the market. Many of these buyers are also sellers. They're deciding, okay, I'm going to go ahead and sell and buy now. And because of that, we are beginning to see more activity. Jeremy just said, what, the last five, six weeks, basically since Christmas, we are seeing more people willing to do something or both things, buy, sell, maybe invest, apply for a mortgage, start get, doing their homework and getting their ducks in a row to make that move. And because of that, we're seeing a more logical market, which is kind of what you just said. Yeah. And part of the reason I think it's becoming a really good time for both sides and not just sellers, you know, who are going to try to make more money and, and buyers are going to have to pay more, but it's beneficial because now people that have been wanting to sell for a while, but haven't been able to, because either a, they can't find a place that fits their needs or they can't, you know, afford the interest rates or whatever it may be. There's now more, op there's more people able to sell because their homes are going up in value, which means more houses on the market when they're doing both at the same time. And most of the people we talk to are doing both. They're buying and selling. And with the inventory, with more people starting to sell, it will give more options available. Interest rates have come down. There's a lot of good things happening on both sides. Yeah. Just quick time out. We're going to talk more as we make our way through the show. Just, you know, market stats, inventory, things like that. Millennials. But if you, oh, careful slugger, if you are thinking about selling and or buying right now, we're still doing free strategy sessions throughout the month of January. We do them after January, but we do a tremendous amount in January. January, so you can get your ducks in a row, get your strategy clear, so you can sleep well at night, knowing what your plan is heading into the year. If you have a goal to buy and or sell this year or any time in the future, you cannot start that conversation too early. But sadly, most people start it too late, and they have fewer options and less opportunity than they otherwise would have. All you got to do to request a free strategy session, just text the word strategy to 214-310-0008, or just call us 214 310-0008 or anytime online 
ToddTremontyTeam.com. At ToddTremontyTeam.com. If all else fails, just Google us. If you have not, we were perfect there, man. That was really smooth. Yep. We nailed it. Take it away, Ian. Yep. If you haven't checked your home insurance, your auto insurance recently, reach out to DP and his team, DP Lambert. You can email him, dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T, at goosehead.com, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. You can give him a call at 214-614-8595. Just do what we do, do what so many of our friends, clients, family members have done. He has literally, and I do mean literally, Todd, Saved like, like the being, actual definition like actually, of the word. Actually, literally, okay. not figuratively literally, but Got literally it. saved me thousands of dollars over the years. Reach out to DP, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. Go to touchmoneyteam.com. You can find all our recommended pros and vendors by just clicking the radio tab. Yeah, so if you're thinking about buying or selling, we need to talk. What you're hearing Jeremy say is on the ground, having hundreds and hundreds of conversations every week, our team all are hearing buyers say, hey, I think I'm ready to go ahead and do something. We're hearing sellers say, hey, it feels like this is the right time. We are still also getting a lot of questions though. Should I start now? Should I wait a little bit longer? So what kind of suggestions, like as a team, we we put together what we call our 2024 DFW real estate market forecast. But if you were just boiling that down to a friend or a, a potential client that's like, hey, should I sell now? Should I wait? What are you What are you telling them right now? Yeah. So what I'm first telling them is I need more information, right? Because there is no one size fits all answer for everybody. Amen. It depends on your finances, you know, where your where your family's at, what the timing looks like, what's what's the ultimate scenario for your personal setup. Uh, it, we have to look at your market because you know absorption rates or inventory in Central Plano is completely different than Grand Prairie or Arlington or Fort Worth right now. And so we want to look at what is going to be the best situation for you in general. If we're just kind of looking at market wide facts, we believe, and a lot of people smarter than us are also saying things uh, that would indicate that sooner this year is probably going to be a more likely chance of success than later. Um, you know, the the demand, the excitement, the buzz that's happening right now can be used to both buyers and sellers' advantages. And so um, I was meeting with a, a couple from McKinney just last week, and he, the husband had kind of done all the work, and he was, he was ready to go. He thought it was the right time. And we met, and by the end of the conversation, they were actually super thankful because we talked it out and, and it actually makes more sense for them to wait a little bit longer. And so yep. don't hear us and say, we're going to meet with you and we're going to try to sell your house right away. Like we, I told him it makes more sense with your finances and y'all set up to wait until let's revisit in June or July and go from there. So yeah, it really does. Amen. Because the ethical answer there is it's different for different people. And Jeremy and our team members here, luckily have enough business and opportunity that they're not going to pinch you into a decision that's not best for you. So if you need to wait, if you need to save a little bit longer, if you need to wait till the kids graduate or whatever the right thing is, we're going to be here whenever you're ready to buy or sell a home. And that's the kind of guidance you need, whether it's us or somebody else is someone that's more motivated by you getting where you need to be and what's best for your family than getting a deal done. But if I were giving broad general advice to kind of the whole market, if you had maximum flexibility, we would say what Jeremy just said, sooner this year rather than later. If I was boiling it down very, very simply for sellers this year, I would say if it were me and I was selling my home this year, I would wanna do that before back to school. Now we'll break down our market forecast and what's happening on the ground later in the show. But I, I Courtney, as we were talking earlier this week, you brought up a great question as our team was discussing our 2024 market forecast. I would like you to go ahead and ask us that question and we'll answer it live right now. But the question was about what realtors always say yeah. and how it could ever be always true. Like, when are you going to tell me not to buy? It's always the right time. Now's the time. Let's go. What? I mean, I, I hear nothing different. Yeah. So to yell if I'm wrong. She will. Basically, realtors always say it's a great time to buy. They and always so yeah, they, those guys. Okay, so Jeremy, you can help me with this. Ian, jump in when you want. Um, I have been saying for years that we need to be careful with that stuff. We need to be careful saying now is the best time. Now is, it's always the best time. It's always a great time. But I also believe, genuinely believe, after doing this for more than 20 years, that the, it is always a good time to buy and sell if you have the right strategy. 
if you're willing to be patient, if you have a professional advisor like Jeremy, you have someone looking out for you that can customize, that's what he was talking about just a minute ago, customize a plan for you. There are such things as buyer's markets and seller's markets. That doesn't mean you only sell in a seller's market and you only buy in a buyer's market. That's not how the world works. You can't always do that. Most of us, just like you were just saying, are selling and buying at the same time. So that doesn't mean you just get hosed on one side and win on the other. We're helping people navigate winning big on both sides in every market, but it requires a different approach. There's a difference too between saying it's always like the best time to buy, right. as opposed to saying like for this particular couple, individual, family, whatever that is, it's it's the time that makes most sense for them, right? Because yeah. situa situationally, if they had the choice, maybe it would make more sense for them to wait six months because of the market, but because of their situation, because of somebody's circumstances, the right time for them is now, and that's that doesn't change. Or the cost of the alternative, or the amount of discomfort it would cause, or t you know, timing of jobs and school and all those things. They're, they're, Jeremy did a good job of talking about how everyone's situation is different, everyone's timing is different. But again, broadly speaking, if you look back historically, I don't know anyone personally, anecdotally, that thinks their grandparents should have bought less real estate, or their parents even. Historically, the value of real estate goes up over the long haul. Yes, could there be a six month or a one year or a two year or even a three year dip in DFW? Those things have almost never happened. And on the two occasions that I'm aware of, they were very minor corrections and very short lived. So if the question is, why do you always say it's a good time to buy? It's A, because it pretty much is. B, because the future is almost always a worse time to buy. Right. So if you're asking me, when was the best time in your life to buy the day I was born? <laughs> you know, things were generally the cheapest. By the way, when I was born, rates were like, you know, 16 percent. So that wasn't exactly ideal. But even then, I wish I would have my parents, you know, would have helped me buy tons of real estate as young as I was, regardless of rate or cost, because by now it would have worked out great. The point is, that's why that's the answer for us. Unfortunately, for a lot of our industry, the answer is that because they need to get a deal done. Thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I think general is helpful, like for the radio, right? We don't know your specific situation. However, when we get together, we're going to get like super granular. We're going to talk through like the week we should list it. Uh, I was on the phone yesterday with some new sellers and they w were kind of open. They, should we sell, you know, towards the end of March, April? Should we wait till summer? We're pretty flexible. Their other situation, uh, or other things in their other factors didn't really impact their decision. And so we got down to like, what day should we put the house on the market Love if it. nothing changes. And we were looking at specific weeks in March, specific weeks in February and deciding. And so we can't give specific advice to everyone right now, but right. generally speaking, sooner the better, you're not going to be mad about a real estate investment. You know, nobody is from 10, 20, 30 years ago. Right. Um, but we will get way more granular yeah. when we're meeting. What I love about what you're saying, and I tell clients this and prospects this all the time, is that we get to flex our marketing muscle when we get one-to-one -one with people. What I mean by that is we get to get creative and customize the approach. And what Jeremy's talking about is we got, you know, collectively 40, 50, 60, 70 years of experience and expertise in doing this. And Jeremy's not doing this alone. He's got staff members and other agents that are engaging and interacting on a daily basis to figure out the best strategy. And he's looking at past experience, current trends, and going, hey, this day would be better than that day, and here's why. Here's what would happen if we did this. Here's what would happen if we did that. Here's how we get prepped. Here's why we should hurry or shouldn't hurry. And those are very specific to the house, the neighborhood, the season, the person, the financial situation, the most likely an ideal buyer for a property like that. And all of those things with wise counsel from others. That's what we love to do. We love to flex our marketing muscle for you. And we are still guaranteeing to sell your home over the average price and under the average time. Jeremy does it all the time. If you're thinking about selling or selling and buying this year, give us a call or a text, 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. If you want to work directly with Jeremy, just ask for him. As long as the situation lines up with his gifts and skills, we'll get you connected. If for any reason it doesn't, we've got some other great team members we can connect you with. Jeremy, quick question. If you were going to describe a home warranty in one word, what would that one word be? 
Insurance. Nope, I was going with Sleep. Super. super. <laughs> I was so close. Super Home Warranty. That was I mean, it. I go to hellosuper.com and you can find out all the things that they do for all of our clients, for so many of our buyers, for every single one of our sellers that is listing a property with us. Hellosuper.com is what makes sure that if there's an issue, they're going to take care of it. Super Home Warranty, you've been great. Christine over there takes tremendous care of our clients. You can go to hellosuper.com. I'd yeah. like to clarify real no, no, quick. Yeah, go ahead. Explain it. I feel like I'm probably getting some weird looks on the no. road right now. Uh -uh. It, what I meant, but I need a sentence to explain that, but I see a home warranty like a mini insurance policy, right? Yep. It's going to protect your house from some of the unknown when you're buying it. So just to clarify, yep. I am aware of the difference By the between way, insurance my, and home warranty. My one word was sleep. So we can work them all in. <laughs> home warranty is not insurance, but it gives you the assurance of insurance to go, if something happens, it's taken care of. And I say you sleep better when you have that certainty that I don't have to figure all this out, especially that first year in your home, you need to call super, get a home warranty, sleep like a baby, have your agent negotiate one or go ahead and buy one for yourself so that you are protected, you sleep well, you have that certainty as if you had an insurance policy that those basic systems in your house are going to be taken for, taken care of. Hello, super.com. Hello, super.com. All right. Um, here, here's what we've been talking about. We've been talking about when you should sell. And, and you're saying a little bit earlier in the year, I'm saying before back to school. Really fast. Why? Yeah. So I believe this time is a super, <laughs> super great opportunity to sell because we're going to beat the rush, right? Everybody knows as interest rates continue to come down, as they even stay where they're at right now, demand and uh, inventory is going to pick up. Sellers are going to start getting their stuff together and they're going to be listing their homes when everybody why, thinks why is do the I best care? time. Why do I want to beat the rush? Because What's in it for me? if there are less homes on the market in your neighborhood, Todd, when you're trying to sell, guess what? That means more eyeballs on your property. People that are looking to buy at that time, I the like ones it. that are serious, that are ready to go, they don't have as many options. So we get more eyeballs. I can control the narrative to those buyers and we can use some of our different marketing steps so that more buyers are interested in your house, whereas okay. they don't have 10 others to look at. So more buyers competing over my house, less, less other houses to compete with. Exactly right. Okay. Plus, you said there's some optimism in the market right now. So buyers are getting out there. Sellers aren't quite getting out there quite as fast. So if I go sooner, I get to kind of take advantage of that window. Yeah. If you're sitting on the fence right now, go. Like it's the time is right. Like we are talking, we're seeing this daily. I can't keep listings long enough right now because people are buying right now and there's not that many sellers that have rushed to the market. Yeah, I, I would just add very quickly, typically Jeremy has at least a short waiting list, if not a quite long waiting list of people that want to work with him to sell their house, same as John, our team often does. But he's got some availability right now because all of a sudden, not all of a sudden, but over the late fourth quarter, early first quarter, you're selling everything. We always guarantee to sell home at, over the average price and under the average time, but you, they are, you are selling them fast for a top dollar and you've got some time availability right now. If somebody's looking to sell your house and you want over the average price and under the average time, and you'd like to work with our team at the Taj Money Home Selling Team, call or text right now, 214-310-0008 or go online to touchmoneyteam.com. We can get you connected with Jeremy or John or whoever's the right fit for you and your family. Google Taj Money and check out over 700 five-star reviews. Welcome back, party people. We got a lot to cover, so we're going to get right back into it. By the way, heads up, we're going to be talking to my buddy Eddie McBroom from Elite Appliance a little bit later. We got kind of a fun, silly story about him saving the day. Who knew you needed an appliance guy who was international? We'll get into that a little bit later, but we are also going to continue talking about our 2024 DFW real estate market forecast. We talked with Jeremy Payne, marketing specialist on the Tatramani Home Selling Team. Most people call that a listing agent. The typical agent in the state of Texas sells somewhere between five and seven homes. Most of them are buy sides and they do one or two sell sides. That's just the average numbers. Obviously, some agents do a lot more. And in 2023, most agents did a lot less, but that's the average. Jeremy does 40 plus sellers per year. John on our team does 40 plus sellers per year. So these guys are pros. When they talk, you should listen. 
They give you some insight into what's happening. We're going to get into the buyer side of things as we make our way through the show. But before that... Yep, this first segment, as always, is brought to you by Patrick Lewis and his entire team at Cardinal Financial. Like we've told you for years and years and years, if you are looking to get a mortgage, refinance, want to talk about investment properties with Patrick, just go to patrickglaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. You can call him at 972-728-3420, and MLS number 308804. Uh, if you need a reminder of who all the recommended pros and vendors are that we talk about on the show, you can go to toddtremonyteam.com, click the radio tab, and you'll find them all right there. Hard radio tease, real quick. Okay. In the first part of the show, we talked about our 2024 forecast, wildly oversimplified and boiled down for sellers, and we said, sell before back to school. You're not going to be panicked and ruin your life if you don't. But our advice is if you want to maximize the opportunity in 2024 as a seller, you want to sell before that early early to mid-August, second week of August, back to school rush. I would say by the end of July. On the buy side, I would tell you if you want to get the best opportunity as a buyer in DFW, I would buy before spring break. We'll talk more about that here in a minute. But if you haven't had your roof checked out in a while after this ice and after the snow and after the cold and the rain and the wind, uh, you're already pretty much late, but I would still get somebody up there for sure. And I would call Jordan Collins. I have called Jordan Collins. He just put a brand new roof on our place. Uh, PMRroofing.com. You can call 469-409-ROOF or ROOF if you want to say it that way. 469-409-ROOF or just uh, email them, Jordan at PMRroofing.com. That's PMRroofing.com. Those are the roofers we trust. They do it right. They'll take good care of you. Uh, they won't oversell. They won't undersell. They'll do everything fairly. They always have for many, 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 many of our clients and many, many of my personal friends. That's PMRroofing.com. Now, we said on the selling side, if you want to maximize your opportunity in 2024, sell before back to school. And if you want to maximize your buying opportunity on the purchase side of real estate, I would want to do that before spring break. We're going to get into the details of that a little bit later in the show, but we got a lot to cover. Yeah, and there was an article that got sent out uh, to me uh, earlier this week, and the article really focused in on um, you know millennials, but also had some differences between millennials and baby boomers. And so this article was all about kind of the biggest barriers to home buying. But I think it it's not just millennials. I think this is kind of what people generally think of when they think of what are some of the biggest issues. So among all the people that were... Um, there were questioned on this this poll. Uh, about 50% of the people said that interest rates are just too high. 46% said homes are just too expensive. 42% were saving for down payment. And the list goes on and on and on. But there's definitely those those top two seem to be fairly common when we talk to, generally speaking, most people. Right. That interest rates are too high and homes are too expensive. And the good news is for folks that interest rates have been coming down recently, which is what we talked about in the first half of the show as to why we're getting more multiple offers, more buyers in the marketplace, things like that. Yes, and and I want to invite Courtney, full price Courtney, to be clear, on uh, on Mike here in a second because she manages a lot of our social media and she gets to see the comments anytime we bring up millennials. And look, we've got a bunch of millennials on our team. They're wonderful people. I'm not a millennial hater, right? I'm not an old curmudgeon that thinks young people are all dumb. But I have said, I've given some stern advice to, to your point, anyone in this situation, but specifically a younger generation. You just said, Ian, that the good news is rates have come down a bit. But let's be honest. The bad news is prices haven't, Okay. And so my advice to millennials and younger home buyers and any home buyer, especially first time, is stop complaining. Now, I'm not saying that to be mean to you. I'm saying you're right. You got a raw deal. When I bought my first house, I was able to buy it. It was a gross foreclosure, but I was able to get it for $141,000 and turn it into a very nice home in an area I was really proud to live. You, you generally do not have that opportunity in the, in the most popular places in Dallas-Fort Worth right now. That stinks. That's true. I'm not mad at you. I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying it's not going to help you get where you want to get if we spend any time complaining about that. What's going to help you get there is to take some action. 
Now, Courtney, you've seen the comments. They've said mean and hurtful things about me. What do you think? Well, I just think it's so interesting the way they're interpreting like this tough love. Like the comments are, this is cringe. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Yeah. Then rent. Cringe on. You know, in in your apartment, paying someone else's mortgage down. Now, look, I've rented before. They say, shut up and find a money tree. Yeah, like 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 they're interpreting what I said as like, just go find more money and buy a sweet house. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, number one, and they want their mom's house. That's the problem. I'm so glad you just said that because I was transitioning to they want yeah what they want yeah, and they is not millennials. They are most home buyers right now. They're like, but. All my friends that bought houses five, 10 years ago, whatever the math is, got a two and a half percent interest rate. They got that house for 250 and now it's 350. Look, I, I want to have bought a million acre ranch 25 years ago. None of, we didn't, you can't go back in time. I am not trying to make you feel stupid. I am not telling you to just go find more money magically. What I'm saying is do the best you can for yourself right now so that you live and have a more secure, safe, ideal, enjoyable, purposeful future, right? That might mean you need to buy something smaller. That might mean you need to move further out. We don't have time to break this down. I talk about it all the time. But 20 years ago, if you had said, I'm gonna buy an apartment in New York City, Anyone in the room would have been like, whoa, really? Because 20 years ago, people knew, man, New York City real estate is nuts. Most people can't just buy an apartment in New York City. You got to live 12 people deep or you're living in 110 square feet with like four bunk beds. Like everyone is known forever that New York real estate is crazy expensive and it takes up a huge chunk of your income. LA, San Francisco, Miami, but Texas has had this long run of really affordable real estate and the run is coming to an end. That doesn't mean our real estate is not affordable. It's just not as affordable as it was. It's taking more of your income. Incomes have not gone up as fast as house values. And that's just the way it is. It's it's not because anybody necessarily wants it that way. Some people are thrilled about it, but let's quit vilifying landlords and complaining about other people. I want to help you If you're buying or selling right now, make the best decision for you and your family and your finances. So it's not worth wasting time complaining. Although I I validate your frustration. It's real. Things cost more and the cost of borrowing is higher than it once was, but it's lower than it was a little while ago. And the cost of the housing is going to continue to go up. I read a really interesting article earlier this week that um, said that the medium uh, household income has actually declined over the past several years while housing has been going up. Factoring in uh, 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 appreci- uh, well, they were saying like it was like seventy six thousand dollars back in like twenty twenty, and it's at like seventy two thousand dollars now. Yeah, and factoring in inflation, those numbers are really scary. I don't know that the hard numbers are that way. I'd be interested in where you saw that, but I know effectively when everything costs more and you're not making any more or you're making a little more. People are feeling the squeeze. So let me just say it one more time, and then we got to move on because we're all grown-ups here. I'm not talking smack. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm actually trying to help you get out of the funk of this isn't fair. It isn't fair. It isn't, it's not the same opportunity that others have had, but it is the opportunity that lies in front of you right now. And I would encourage you to get in the game if you can, if it's responsible and reasonable for you. If not, by all means, rent, save, get prepared, figure out a different approach. We can help you with the free strategy session to figure out the right approach for you. Just go to TodTremontyTeam.com, call or text 214-310-0008. We will give you at no cost, no obligation, 60 to 90 minutes of one of our professional full-time real estate pros time to help you figure out some sort of game plan to achieve your goals, buying, selling, both, investing, whatever it is. We just don't want to waste any time complaining. It doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means it's not helping you get where you want to get. We want to help you get where you want to get, whether that's buying, selling, or investing. RepublicTitle.com is where you're going to go to find out all the things that Republic Title can do for you. Uh, I've told you for years now that a bad title company can be absolutely disruptive and sometimes can be really, really damaging to people that are involved in the transaction. Republic Title take great care of their clients, take great care of our people, and really do a, an amazing job at making sure that legally and everything can happen. Like there's going to be no mistakes. RepublicTitle.com is where you're going to go. They're one of the leaders in the title industry. 972-423-8777 or TouchMoneyTeam.com. Click the radio tab and find all of our recommended pros and vendors. Yeah, so earlier we said 
if you want to take advantage of the best opportunity this year as a seller, you do that before back to school. If you want to take advantage of the best opportunity this year as a buyer, I recommend you do that before spring break, which is very close upon us. Meaning you need to be talking to one of our team members at the Todd Germani Home Selling Team. You need to be uh, getting ready, looking at houses and getting something under contract very soon to be closed and funded by spring break, which for most people is early to mid-March. Now, you'll be okay after that. We're just saying that's where we see the best opportunity. Why? I'll tell you in just a minute. But before that, we've had an opportunity to get Eddie McBroom on the phone from Elite Appliance, my go-to guy for appliances for a long, long time. We're going to call him real quick, get him on the line, and uh, we'll rock and roll. Good morning. Eddie, how are you? Welcome to the show, buddy. How you been? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Love it. All right. I've been telling my team a story that I need you to tell the world. But real fast before we do that, uh, we're, we're talking to Eddie McBroom, my buddy from Elite Appliance, my buddy from a long time, family, ministry, marriage, all sorts of good things. But what you need to know today is Eddie's been my go-to appliance guy forever. Uh, just did all the appliances on a, on a house we just did this year. Uh, but in the process, something insane happened. And I've been telling him that the world must know. So we might need to tell this story together to get both perspectives, Eddie. But real quick, let everybody know generally what you do in like 10 seconds, and then we'll dive into the story. Yeah, so I've been selling appliances now on the luxury end. We sell pretty much everything, but I've doing it now, been doing it now for about 13 years. Uh, everything from KitchenAid to the fancy Sub-Zero Wolf and all the European brands and and everything in between. And you sell to somebody who's decking out their new kitchen or to a home builder that's going to build 120 kitchens and everything in between. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah. Somebody who needs a replacement or somebody who's remodeling or doing a new build. Awesome. Pretty so much everything. Uh, if you're if you're listening and, and you want to connect with Eddie, uh, we'll give you his information out here in a minute. And of course, you can always reach out to us and we'll get you connected. We've been doing that for hundreds and hundreds of clients for years and years and years. Okay. You mentioned, as you were saying that, that uh, you do some of the international products. Now, let me, let me tell the beginning of the story, and I'd love for you to tell the end of it. We have a stove, Bertazzoni stove range combo thing, one of those stainless deals that looks cool and we really love to cook on. Uh, and when we moved, we went from a propane, above ground propane tank that provided the gas to our house to a like full on natural gas, like, you know, main provider. And in the process, we needed to switch the appliance over to natural gas. And we ordered a part online. Uh, we asked Eddie, hey, what, what should we do? He said, hey, no, you just find them online and order them. It's no big deal. You can have somebody swap them out. So we did that. Then my wife calls Eddie because we both reach out to him with any of our appliance needs. And she just says, hey, I can't get this part. We're trying to get our certificate of occupancy. This is holding us up. Is there anything you could do? Is there any other way to get this part? And then what happened, Eddie? Yeah, so y'all had called me and I had directed you to the standard operation. You go to the parts distributor, you buy it there, they send it to you. This part was odd because not very many people go from liquid propane to natural gas. A lot of people go the opposite way. And so they don't typically stock that part, apparently, in America. And so after phone calls and talking to multiple people, realizing it's not in America, I just told them you just have to wait for it. All the time knowing that I was actually going to Italy within the month, and I had not even thought about connecting with Bertazzoni, the company that made your range. And of course, I get to Italy and I get a text message from Dana, and Dana is saying she's still having a hard time. They shipped the wrong part. And my response to her was, well, I'm with Bertazzoni in Italy right now. Let me see what I can do. And of course, Dana's response is, Wow, okay. The next day, we actually go to Casa Bertazzoni, which is where they build all the appliances. I was like, I'm going to get this part, and this is going to be a great story. I show up at Bertazzoni. We spend the whole day there. I actually sit down with the CEO, the man who's fifth-generation Bertazzoni, and I told him, I said, hey, I've got an issue, and I was wondering if you could help me. So I tell him the whole story. He, uh, he says, well, you're going to need to talk to this lady. So the next person I literally meet is her. Her name was Sarah Jane. And I said, um, I need some help with a part. And she goes, well, what's your range? And I said, well, I can just tell you the part number. 
So I gave her the information for the part number. We went on the factory tour. When we were going to leave, she handed me the conversion kit. This is bananas. And I was just like, this is crazy. And everyone that was there was like, I can't believe this happened. They were all shocked. A bunch of different distributors across the country that were with us. Yeah, I got back to the hotel, took a picture, sent it to Dana, and said, I'm coming back with your part. I'll be back in the country on Saturday. Okay, so let me let me give you the 100-mile-an-hour version of this story from our perspective, right? We need a stupid part for an appliance it's not even the cool part of having this appliance. This is like the stupid part, just so the gas will go flow into it and it'll work. We can't find it online. We're trying to get the certificate of occupancy to move into this house. My wife is like, hey, Eddie, it, you know, you already told me what to do, but is there anything else? And Eddie's like, well, funny you ask. I'm sitting with the Bertazzoni family in Italy right now. We didn't know any of that other stuff was going on. So I come home from work and my wife is like, you're not going to believe this, but Eddie's like literally with the Bertazzoni family and they just gave him the part and he's bringing it home tomorrow. I'm like, all right, listen, that's the kind of guy you want is your appliance guy. You're like, I can't find a part. Well, I'll just go to Italy and meet with the family that runs the company that's built these things for five generations and bring the part back to you. So then Eddie literally sets it out. I drive by his house and pick it up. I'm not saying he's offering the drive by my house option to just anybody, but if you need an appliance person, that's what you're looking for, party people. You're not looking for uh, necessarily cheapest. You're not looking for, you know, who can I find it online? You want a person that can help advise you. What do you need in your home? How do you get this set up based on the way you live, cook, you know, work, wash, clothes, all those kind of things. Somebody that really, really knows what they're talking about. So we were blown away. I've told tons of people since then, listen, I know it sounds like you just go to the box store and buy an appliance, but if you want something nice that's going to last and you want to be able to take care of it and you want to enjoy all the benefits of it, you, you need a pro. And my pro is Eddie McBroom at Elite Appliance. So how could folks get a hold of you, Eddie, if they just need a tiny bit of that kind of service? Yeah, so they can reach me and leave a message at the office. I mean, my phone number is 214-306-6900 direct extension to get to me is 402. If I don't answer, I'll get back to you and help you with any appliance needs you have. All right. So for the folks that didn't memorize that right away, just go to our website, tatramaniteam.com, click on the radio tab. We've got Eddie's info up there at Elite Appliance. And if that doesn't work, just reach out to our team. We will get you connected. I've been connecting friends and clients and other vendor partners with Eddie for over a decade. So we are, we are, we are thankful for the part, Eddie, it's wild that you were where you were when we had that need. We appreciate you. We'll keep telling folks about you. We got to jump into the rest of the show here, but we'll try to have you back on soon, buddy. Awesome. Love it. Love getting to talk to our friends and our buddies. And Eddie's been a buddy and a friend for a long time. We've done work and ministry and life together. And uh, just a crazy story of him wild. saving the... <laughs> Shut up. Uh, of him saving the day for us on a part that got us uh, able to move into our new home. So Eddie's an awesome guy. If you need a great contact, let us know. We'll get you connected. Okay. Before Eddie went on, we talked about the uh, buyer advice we're giving people. Our forecast for 2024, which is buy before spring break. You will be okay after that. But why are we saying that? Well, we're saying that is because typically spring break is the pivot point where we roll out of the winter and into the spring real estate market. Everybody, and not literally everybody, but the vast majority of people think about buying and selling during the spring and summer. It's the stereotypical time. It's the most active, momentum-driven time. And lots of people want to do that. So if you buy before that, rates have come down. Values have not shot up yet due to all of the competition that we expect to come after spring break. Buying before that means lower rates, lowest possible price for the long foreseen future. If rates come down later, you can refi down. If rates go up, you win. If prices go up and we absolutely expect them to, you'll win. If competition goes up and we absolutely expect them to, you win. That's why that's our advice. If you want to talk more about it, call or text 214-310-0008. We'll set you up with a free strategy session. No obligation needed. I also think even though we've had snow and ice and all the yucky stuff, you should think ahead before spring break for your landscaping as well so you can enjoy the backyard during spring. You can enjoy the walkways and the grass and the trees and the shrubs and the shade and the landscape lighting, maybe the pool, patio, fire pit, all those things. And keen landscaping is who personally helps me with those things and many, many, many of my close friends and lots of our clients. Go to keenlandscaping.com, K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com. 
Com. If we can help you with anything related to buying or selling this year, you cannot start that conversation too soon, but sadly, most people start it way too late. Find out what your home would sell for right now and under a minute at TodgeRoniTeam.com. Hey, real quick, quick question for you. So we are growing our team right now, but there's an NAR article that is talking about losing members. So is it a bad time to get into the business? And what is it going to take for somebody to be successful that is maybe listening to this thinking, man, maybe this is the year that I want to go and do real estate? Uh, real quick, the National Association of Realtors membership did slip a little bit. Uh, that's a good thing, to be honest with you, because in my personal opinion, and it's it's basically a statement of fact, the vast majority of real estate agents just are terrible at their jobs. Now, I'm not attacking any one person, but it's a, it's a low barrier to entry and a very high bar for success. So the point is... Um, that's not a bad thing when things get a little tougher and, and people take off. Um, I do think that number is going to keep slipping for a little while longer, but surprisingly, I think it's an excellent time to get into the business. If big, important, big, important, if here, if you are committed to being full-time and a fully dedicated expert committed to delivering world-class value to your clients. I believe that is best done with a team or at least with some other people that you work closely with. So if that's the kind of approach someone takes, I think it's a great time to get into the business. The marketplace is demanding a higher level of expertise. If you're ready to be an expert, you can thrive in real estate as our team members are. We're looking for two people in our Dallas office, which is actually in Richardson, and we're looking for two or three people in our Fort Worth office. If you are a great culture fit for our team, you could be actively on our team in the next three weeks and you could be actively selling real estate and making a great living and having a tremendous impact in our community by the springtime. Would love to chat with you about that. If you're thinking about joining the real estate industry and would like to talk about our team, text uh, 214-310-0008. You can call to 214-310-0008. We'll get you squared away. If you're still checking us out, just Google my name, Todd Tremonti, or go to toddtremontiteam.com, and we will uh, get you squared away. 